Once the air crew personnel have qualified in snow survival training, they once again join with the other squadron air crews already performing the mission at hand to support the tasking of the National Science Foundation. About three times the size of the United States, Antarctica has several remote camps and stations which can only be reached via the specially ski-equipped C-130 aircraft. Remote locations such as Smith Glacier, McMurdo Dome, Ellsworth, and the Geologist Range are among some of the places that various science teams would need to be flown by VXC-6 air crews to perform their research. Airdrops were also provided by the LC-130 air crews as additional support to these teams when supplementary supplies were needed. Bird Surface Camp, Deserts, and South Pole Station are some of the more frequently flown to locations. These research stations are where scientists conduct studies which are vital in learning about the history and future of our planet. Amundsen Scott South Pole Station is located approximately 840 miles away from McMurdo Station and was established in November of 1956. Here scientists perform studies in glaciology, analyzing core samples taken from Antarctica's ice sheet to learn about the history of Earth's past climates and atmospheric conditions. Also, research of the atmosphere is conducted here to supply scientists with valuable information pertaining to the various layers of Earth's atmosphere including the growing concerns on the depletion of the Earth's ozone layer. The station consists of several modular buildings constructed to support over 80 people. A geodesic dome protects these buildings from the harsh Antarctic environment. The South Pole itself is indicated by a brass stake and a sign dedicated to the first Antarctic explorers to ever reach the pole. Nearby is what is known as the Ceremonial South Pole, on display along with the national flags of each country in agreement of the International Antarctic Treaty. This is a popular place for PXE6 personnel and other people to visit, finding time to have some fun and take a few pictures.